both gotten haircuts since the last video. <laughs> Anyways, what up, guys? Welcome to another episode on the Spirit Box. Today, we're gonna talk about the cocktail that has been going around the world. Most ordered cocktail in 2018 in the UK. Oh, yeah. The porn star martini, which, uh, according to his creator, was inspired by a visit to a strip club in South Africa. I've read other things that says that it was like uh, his male, the perfume of a stripper, or something like that. But, anyways, the main thing and the reason why we're doing this video today is because I was trying to come up with a porn star martini for the bar. And good luck finding passion fruit, passion fruit puree, mm -hmm. anything. It was so hard. And besides that, passion fruit is so expensive. It's so expensive and, um, and it's not tasty. And I don't think it's something easy to make it like quick at home. Like you have to, you, you, it's complex, it's complex. Um, so let's make a version that is easier. First of all, I want to talk about this. The recipe originally calls for this thing, Pasoa. <laughs> Uh, I've tasted it. We tried to use it here at the bar one time, and this is horrible. This smells and tastes like medicine. The color is, is not the color of passion fruit. It's like, let's, let's just for the yeah, sake of... Very much not accurate. <laughs> not so, on brand. I've never seen passion fruit being this color, for starters, number one. Passion I'm just going to say some, they didn't have a lot of options. I don't know, but I don't know why they decided to make it that color or what makes it if that color. If you don't color. know what passion fruit is looking like, it is not this. No, and it's yellow, vibrant yellow. This? If anything, orange. It tastes and not red. It smells cherry like. Horrible. I don't, yeah, I don't like it. It smells like candy and artificial and nasty. It does not taste like. Anyways, this, I wouldn't use it. I don't know why people still use this. This is what you do to this. But in the other hand, I found this Chinola, which this has a beautiful color. Look at that pulp in the walls. Look at that. It's a beautiful color, and um, it tastes natural. Um, I told him if it's not clear, I trust it because this means there's real juice. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, this one in the store is about twenty dollars. This one comes out to about thirty-two. But just keep in mind also what I was telling Sierra is that. Uh, passion fruit is expensive and then this re I'm, my plan is to replace any sort of passion fruit that goes into the porn star martini with this solely. So not liqueur and puree when you exactly. can just have something that tastes like both combined. So I think this is mm. so good. Drink it like juice. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I say let's try to make it this uh, porn star martini. Let's grab our nice little coop. Let's put it here. Anyways, so Chinola has their own recipe on their website, which I'm gonna add change slightly. What is uh, it usually garnished with? Uh, with a passion fruit. Oh, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. And um, like fresh? So, fresh, yeah. Or dried? No, fresh. Or fresh. I'm sure you can find some dried ones that could work, but anyways, let's start with one ounce of uh, Chinola. Shit. What? Okay. I've been, I've been, <laughs> lately I've been, you know. I've been bartending too much. <laughs> well, <laughs> since I, the reason why I haven't posted much videos lately is because I haven't told my people here, but I got into an injury and I didn't tell you. What? I broke some ribs a few weeks ago. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> and I was not able to bartend. I was struggling, like, getting better. What happened? It was an accident, but, oh, but I'm good now. I can good. bartend, I can make, make videos again. He uh, heals quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is 0.75 ounces of uh, lime juice. We're gonna do uh -huh. Uh -huh, vanilla vodka, 1.5 ounces. Um, you want vanilla syrup? They changed it. They used to have an X here. What, what is it? Vanilla syrup. Vanilla syrup. So first we're gonna do the 1.5 ounces. They used to have an X where? On the label? Yeah. And I think I'll, I remember that actually. Big old white X. Yeah. yeah. And let's yeah. do some of our. So, vanilla syrup probably is not as well. Yeah, it's easy to make at home. You just no, it's very easy. Maybe vanilla we can make paste. a video about making a, a vanilla. Syrup a lot of people do it differently, but I think vanilla paste is better. Yeah, I like that too. 0.75? 0.5. Or it was 0.5. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, right? I believe so. <laughs> 
seen it? Oh wait, I don't think I have you on Instagram, but I've, <laughs> I'll show you later. There's, what? there's this art piece about making the perfect martini. Uh huh. And it starts with this guy and he has a shaker in front of him. And then you just see like scribble, like him and the shaker is just like scribbling in the end of the martinis there. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm so excited about trying this martini. Mm-mm. Yeah, and see that color, like, I'm trying to think about what it would have looked like with the other one. Weird. Would it have been, like, red? Yeah, like, well, orangey maybe, red? I think we're bringing that a little bit pink because, you know, remember, it yeah. seems as a pack yeah, of not... This doesn't make no sense. And... Um, let's, let's do, let's make it pretty with you want to uh, do a slit in there? Some making a little bit tropicus. Let's see if we can put a little dragon fruit. Uh, Here, do it to where the bottom is also the clip. You know what I'm saying? The bottom what? Like clip it there. Uh huh. Wait, like I'll show you. Music? Like this is what I do. I use the this part to make the bottom also a clip. Ah, you're so smart. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I was about to say you're so smart, but... It can be a floater. It can be, it can be a floater. Let's just, let's just, let's, man. A floater. <laughs> no, let's no, try not one. the finger. Not the finger. Let's just try let's one more floater. time. Get a floater. Let's put a, yeah, let's do a dragon fruit like this. Hey, man. And um, we need our Prosecco shot. Oh, yes. So they serve it, some some serve it with champagne, some with Prosecco. Uh, we have Prosecco here. Bam. I don't think I've ever actually had a porn star. You want to try it first? I do. Should I follow with this? I think, yeah, just have a little sip and then you just like... It's good. Beautiful. Hey, it's beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah, I like it a lot. I honestly feel like we could have done less vanilla. Yeah, right. But uh, should we make to see how it tastes with mm, regular mm -hmm, syrup? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is beautiful. Would it be weird to add vanilla extract to syrup? Is that the extract? If it would be a cocktail, you literally need like a drop. <laughs> sure, sure. I like it like that, but let's see how it how it tastes with uh, regular syrup and see how much it them. changes. I put the champagne in there. I put the Prosecco. You did what? I put the Prosecco in it. Oh, you did? It's good. It's good? Let's see. It kind of like takes away from the sweetness, say, if you wanted a drier drink. And I like the fizziness. Right? Yeah. Why is it on the side? Put it in the damn thing. Put it in there, Marco. We're going to do the one ounce of chinola. Because the website, the recipe, they have a recipe for something like a monster martini. But it says 0.75. So I think you need that passion for there, you know? Yeah. To go, uh, to substitute the, the what we're not putting in passion for puree. Yeah. I still don't understand why people use pasoa. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think that might have just been like all they had. <laughs> At the time, maybe. At the time, yeah. yeah. I had a drink in Costa Rica. I can't, but they like passion fruits everywhere. Uh huh. Mint it has <laughs> the it has the passion fruit seeds in it. Yeah. So as you're drinking it, you can get like that little pop and. Yeah. So I've seen versions of the porn star martini where they do. Um, the, the passion fruit, they blend everything the season and then they strain it to make like the juice that they're gonna use. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. I like the seeds. I like that. I, I'm like a texture person. Same thing mm. with like pomegranate. Like I like the yeah. the seeds. I like the I like some texture, but the seeds from the pomegranate, I like. <laughs> yeah, <I'm happy. laughs> I like I like that. <laughs>
Down, down, down. So you just put the simple right? Yeah. I think you can do a line. Do a line, yeah. That's cute. Well, and that's the main thing. You know, this is a perfect example. The reason why we don't have passion fruit as a garden is because I couldn't find passion fruit anywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I feel like. Uh, I guess it's just seasonal. Yeah. And let's pour in another prosecco. Okay, I'm trying first. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I think I like this one better. Yeah. I know, I'm undecided. <laughs> I do like the vanilla accentuation on this one. <clears throat> I put the Prosecco on there, so I don't know. Yeah, well, let's do this. Or You know, watching Drinkmasters made me realize a lot. What? Aromatics. Aromatics are crucial. Like this line, even I can just smell it. Yeah. And it, it makes it so much different. I think I like this one. They're so good. <laughs> just mm. like a porn star. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think I like this one more. Just, we're gonna start getting naked right now. <laughs> you wish. Yeah. Um, uh, I like that one. Yeah, you know what? I think it focuses on the passion fruit. Honestly, you know, actually, I'm going to correct myself. I think it's going to be a, a mood thing. I okay. Probably there are going to be th times that I'm going to like that vanilla accent situation there, that accent. And there are going to be times that I'm going to prefer just this approach. They're both really good. Yeah. I think it's going to be a what am I, what am I in the mood Feeling. For. Yeah. Because they were, they're both amazing. I feel passion mm. fruit. Oh, man. Yeah, I like it. So, this is a very, very, very easy way to, for you to make a passion fruit martini. Super good. Without having the hassle of, I, got, I have to get passion fruit. Then I have to use that paso. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. Uh, chuggable. Chuggable. Well, we're not in the chugging chronicles oh. today, but, but it is chuggable. It can be in that one. <laughs> but it is chuggable. It is chuggable. <laughs> Definitely chuggable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you, thank you very much for watching, guys. And we're gonna think of something else cool to do for you. And uh, comment subscribe. something specific. Please subscribe and like. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. We will find you. Bye. Just kidding. You will, <laughs> find, we will you. find you. Come down, <laughs> Liam Nissen. Mm. Hey, just, I will find you. And I will intoxicate you. And I will intoxicate you. <laughs>